Hello everyone, this time I have a question from one of the viewers who was asking about the theme of gaslight. Now, before I begin to speak about how to win a conversation with someone who is trying to gaslight us, allow me first of all to explain to the audience who had never heard about this term before what gaslight is and quickly I'll move on on how to deal with someone who is gaslighting us. Gaslight is a term that comes from a film where a husband is trying to make his wife unsure or to make his wife question her intuition or question her sanity. By that he weakens her emotionally and that way she becomes more and more dependent on him emotionally. Of course it's a narcissistic emotional manipulation technique and it works and many narcissists use the same emotional techniques in order to be able to prey on victims, on people who are more emotionally wealthy and people who have more sharp perception and this is the thing that when you are emotionally wealthy when you have intuition when you are more transparent when you are more sincere you have abilities to see beyond let's say the direct contact with physical reality and this is something that narcissists can't stand because they have no such ability they can't see reality and sense it with all its complexity they can't stand that you have this ability so they try to convince you that you don't have it you're not your intuition is wrong you're wrong they know that you are right and they know that you your perception is the truthful one but they work on that that to make you question that ability question your intuition question your sanity so this is what gaslight is now comes the second thing there's a big confusion that is happening in the let's say, the narcissistic victim scene where we project the phenomenon of gaslight as it's an abusive technique on every incident of gaslight. And this is not the case. That way, it makes us fight battles that are not ours. That way, that makes us make choices that may work against us, not with us. I'm saying this that because the solution of how to deal with gaslight, how to deal with someone who's gaslighting us, lies in knowing the kind of gaslight. What is the motive and the intention of the person who's trying to gaslight us? Not everyone is a not everyone is motivated out of a narcissistic need to prey on us emotionally. And by knowing that we will know also how to deal with that specific kind of gaslight. I made in the in the past couple of videos about narcissism and about narcissistic abuse and about daughters of narcissistic parents and narcissistic mothers. If you if we are speaking about narcissistic abuse, gaslight in the context of narcissistic abuse, we need to go to the videos of narcissism. But allow me to say here that most of the gaslight that we face in our lives are not coming from narcissistic motives. And here lies the confusion. Governments gaslight people. People gaslight people constantly. Now, if you are facing a narcissistic person who is trying to gaslight you, we need to go to the videos that I spoke about before. The moment we realize that the person is gaslighting us, not out of a motive to prey on us emotionally, this is the first step. Because very rarely, as I said, people will gaslight out of a narcissistic motive. And unfortunately, this became like as if everyone who's gaslighting us is actually a narcissist. We need this. Here lies the secret. Very few people who will gaslight us will come from a narcissistic motive. If you're living with such a person who's constantly gaslights you, who constantly um, tries to manipulate you emotionally of, of a narcissistic motive, you need to question your relationship in general. And that's why I ask you to go back to the videos that I made before about narcissism. Let's deal now in how to deal with people who, who gaslight us in general, in, in daily life. You go to a restaurant, you order a meal. Actually, it happened to me one time. You just order a simple sandwich with a coffee, cup of coffee. And I'm waiting, and uh, of course, all the people that came after me, 
they get their food on the table and they go and I'm waiting for more than half an hour and then you ask the waitress excuse me I've been here for half an hour what happened to the food and she still she looks at you and says yeah it's coming she would never say oh I forgot it I'm sorry saying I'm sorry acknowledging her mistake that will put her in a certain place in a certain like in, in an unpleasant situation with her colleagues or with her boss. So with the first impulse, with so much conviction, she's looking directly in my eyes and she says, yeah, yeah, it's coming. It's a simple sandwich with a simple cup of coffee. It's not, a, it's not lunch like the others have ordered, I mean, big meals. After half an hour, of course she's gaslighting me. I know that she forgot. And... I speak also the local language now, though I spoke with her in English, but I speak the local language and I can hear them in the kitchen speaking that they forgot. The fact that she's gaslighting me, she's not doing that to prey on me emotionally. She's doing that to get away with her mistake. She's doing that maybe because she's too proud or there's too much hubris to acknowledge a mistake. But here's the thing, this has to do with her not with me. I could now go there and have a direct fight with her. But for what? Is this my battle? I have no relationship with her at all. She's not my friend. She's not my colleague. I'm having no long-term relationship with her. Do I have really the interest now to go into a fight with her? I'm in a hurry. Thank you so much. And I go find a different place and I order from there and I would never go back to the same restaurant again unfortunately in some countries uh, the service in restaurants they don't care so so much because they have kind of uh, they create their own public relation or, and their own trends of how to sell themselves and the bosses have no access to the to what's going on really in the restaurants and they can't let's say fire some employees because they have kind of social securities that they can't so those employees, those waiters, they can do whatever they want. They can destroy the restaurant, and but this is none of my business. All I can do is just go find a place that is convenient to me, that people will give me the food and time. This is my goal. I'm saying this because just to know that how complex people are. Her purpose is not to prey on me emotionally, but to get away with it. How do I deal with that? A different story. If you have a neighbor, and this neighbor... I'm living, I'm living in a neighborhood that is a little bit kind of, uh, there's a lot of breaking in and a lot of criminal, some criminality inside. So people can break into houses. And now that's why we, all the neighbors, made kind of an agreement to discuss and to help each other and to be more awake. And there's one neighbor that for about two weeks had weird thing next to her door, weird object. And um, so I called her because I know that the criminals in the neighborhood, they put signs to test how awakened the, the people in the building are. If they clean, the, uh, <clears throat> if they clean the, the area or it stays, in case that it stays, it means there's nobody in the house. So just to be awake and to communicate in a healthy way. So I called her and I told her, there's something next to your door. Are you okay? There's something weird in front of your door. And she said, no, there's not. It's in front of my eyes. There's nothing. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. Now, the moment I realized that she's fine and this box has nothing to it. It's not dangerous. It's not coming from criminals. It's her choice. For me, that's fine. I'm relaxed. Because my only objective was to make sure that this is not a sign that criminals put there to be able to break in. The moment I realized that this was her choice, then I am relaxed. No more objections. After that, I, though I met her and she told me, no, there's nothing. No, 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 there's no boxes. It's fine. No, 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 there's nothing. You, and I saw it for two weeks every day. Now I could go and tell her when I met her on the stairs, I could, no, no, come with me. I will show you that there is. Is this really my objective? Don't I know that she's gaslighting me? I know it. But what is, what is my goal? Why is she doing this? 
maybe she's going to a course of a witch. She has a belief system that if you put something in front of your house, in front of your door, you will have a boyfriend or your relationship will be kept. People are complex. They are, they are beyond the, what, the cliches of Hollywood. They are beyond the cliches of mainstream psychology and trendy psychology and the police TV series that a woman that is putting a weird object in front of a door because she believes that that will keep her relationship healthy because she heard this from a witch. This belief system has to do with her, not with me. She doesn't want to tell me that she's going to a witch and she has a belief like this that this will protect her relationship because she doesn't want to be judged. She, so she tells me that I'm wrong. She can't also acknowledge that she doesn't want to be humiliated because from her point of view, she has a problem or she's not fully convinced with her path. Or she might think that I will never be able to understand. In any case, this is her choice. I could go in a fight with her. What do you mean there's nothing in front of your door? Do you call me that I am a liar? Am I lying? Are you gaslighting me? I could go, of course, into such conversation with her. The question is, is this in my interest? What is my objective here? My objective was very clear, to know that criminals would not put signs into my building that they can hack in, they, that they can break in. The moment I realized that my objective is being achieved, I don't care. The gaslight or her lifestyle or her belief system is outside, the, outside my control and I have no interest to have access to that place. I don't care. She can live however she wants. My interest is to know that no one is putting the sign there to be able to break in. I told those two stories, one with the waitress and one with this neighbor thing, just to know um, what is my objective when someone is gaslighting me? What do I want from this conversation? Is it relevant to me? And I know that it's not easy to take control of our emotional state and that's why in the future the next video the one after it i'm going to give a little bit more uh, precise tools on how to take control of that emotional state that way that we will not be impulsive that we will not make decisions that are more emotionally biased that we will not make decisions that are more reactive that we will be responsible of our choices that's very very important for the long term, because I can sit here and intellectualize and strategize, but in the moment we need to, when we need to respond in the moment, that will be a challenge. And that's why it's not enough only to know the intellectual aspect, it's also important to develop that emotional awareness, that emotional wisdom, that emotional intelligence. And I will speak about this also in the future and give more concrete tools. Okay. I finished everything that I needed to talk about. I hope I could shed some light on this. Thank you for the question. Thank you everyone for staying with me. I'm Shreddy Jabarin. Ciao.